Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mahesha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve problem sum based on minimization under the chapter assignment model under the subject operation research. In the video series based on assignment model, this is this is video number two where we are going to solve another simple problem sum based on minimization. Okay, this is problem sum number two that we are going to solve. So let us see how to solve the sum. Okay, now let us see the second sum, how to solve the sum based on assignment model. We'll first read the question out. The following table gives time and days required to perform four tasks by four subcoordinates. They are given us the four tasks and they have given you the four subordinates. The very first thing that you need to always check in the sum is whether they are balanced matrix or unbalanced matrix. So we have four tasks and four subordinates. So it is a balanced matrix. Find an assignment of tasks to sub uh, coordinates so as to minimize the total time. So again, now this is a minimization problem sum. Okay, so chalo, let us see how to solve this particular sum. Okay, step number one. In order to solve such kind of sum, the very first thing will always be you have to create a table okay uh, in which we'll have to first find the row minimization okay now in order to find row minimization we have to create a similar table which has the value you know which has the namings or the headings of the task and the subordinates Okay, now from the task point of view, we have task 1, Roman number 2, Roman number 3 and Roman number 4. And from the subordinate point, we have A, B, C and D. Now, step number 1 is where we have to create row minimization. It means from each row, we pick up the lowest value. And that lowest value we will subtract from all the other elements in the same row that we have to do for each and every row. So in our in our sum we have four rows: row A, row B, row C, and row D. Now in row A, the very first row, the lowest value is 10. So this 10 we have to subtract from all the values and get the you know the answer in our row minimization table. So 10 minus 10 will be 0. 28 minus 10 is 18, 19 minus 10 is 9, and 13 minus 10 is 3. S similarly, in the second row, the lowest value is 6. So 15 minus 6 is 9, uh, 30 minus 6 is 24, 6 minus 6 is 0, and 28 minus 6 is 22. Similarly, for uh, the third row, the lowest value is 18. So 40 minus 18 is 12, 20 mi 21 minus 18 is 3, 20 minus 18 is 2 and 18 minus 18 is 0. And lastly in the last row the lowest value is 12. So 21 minus 12 is 9, 28 minus 12 is 16, 26 minus 12 is 14 and 12 minus 12 is 0. So step number 1 we have to always find the row minimization. Step number two, we need to find the column minimization. Okay, so again, we create, uh, you know, the similar table where we have all the tasks. And we will have the subordinates car detail. So task may be a task Roman number 1, Roman number 2, Roman number 3 and Roman number 4. In subordinates we have A, B, C and D. Now for column minimization, we have to take the lowest value from each column and then subtract that value from all other elements in the similar or in the same column. 
so and that, that we have to do from the row minimization table okay so the lowest value in the first column so we have four column column one two three and four in the first column the lowest value is zero so we'll have to minus zero from all other elements so it will be the similar values in the second three is the lowest value so it will be 18 minus 3 which is 15 24 minus 3 which is 21 3 minus 3 is 0 16 minus 3 13 in the third column 0 is the lowest value so all the value remains similar because 0 minus anything will give you the same answer in the fourth column again 0 is the lowest value so apparently the similar values will appear okay first step row minimization second step column minimization now once you complete these two steps now in the column minimization table we'll have to start assigning you know the zeros okay because those are your assignment values so the rule is we start row wise okay we will select those rows which has only one zero and we assign that zero once you have assigned a particular zero in a row, all other zeros in that row and in the columns will get, you know, crossed out. And we'll have to do that till that we get, you know, equal number of assignment to the equal number of matrix size. So let us see now how to do that, okay? We have to go row wise. So we take row A. In row A, there is, I can see, we can see only there's one zero. So we assign that zero and we make it a box. After that, check uh, vertically and horizontally if there are any other zeros, you know, marking that zero, no. So we can't cross out anything. We jump to the next row. In the second row, okay, again, there is only one zero. So we assign that. Okay, horizontally and vertically, uh, you know, there are no other zeros present. So we can't cross it out. In row three, there are two zeros. So we can't mark it out right now because we don't know which one to mark it out. So we leave it. We jump to the fourth row. Now in fourth row, there's only one zero. We mark it out. We assign it. Now again, now look here. Uh, horizontally, there is no zero. But vertically, there is one zero. So we'll have to cross that extra zeros. Okay. So all the rows are done. Now we go column wise. In the first column, there is already one marked. In the second column, there's only one zero. So we'll mark it out. In third column, we have already done. And fourth column is also filled up with one assigned value. Okay. Once we come to the step, okay, now we have to see, we have to check here how many assigned values are there, how, what is the matrix size, okay. So we can see assigned value 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, the assigned values equals 4 and the matrix size is also equal to 4. Therefore, we have an optimal solution or we can write it therefore the solution is optimal. Mother, we have reached our final conclusion, meaning these are the four assigned values that will represent our final answer. So therefore, the optimum solution for assignment is okay now in the sum we have like the task uh, subordinate and the task okay so we can write it for a subordinate the task which is mentioned so we got this assigned values okay so for a subordinate the task given is 1 the value for that is so a1 is 10 for subordinate 2, the task given is 3. So the value for B3 is 6. Similarly, for assigned uh, subordinate C, the assigned value is 2. So C2 ka value is 21. And similarly for D, the assigned value is 4. So D4 is 12. Okay. So the total of which comes to 10 plus 6 plus 21 plus 12, which comes to 49. Therefore, the final answer will be now the access to minimize the total time. Therefore, the total...
मिनिमम टाइम इन डेज इज फोर्टी नाइन डेज दैट्स आर फाइनल आंसर so this is how we had to solve this particular sum which was based on minimization again it is a simple sum okay whereby we had uh, all the assigned values were found out in the very first step okay uh, in our next video we will be learning uh, how to solve minimization problem sum when an advanced problem sum is given whereby the assigned values and the matrix size they do not match okay so how we need to solve in order to get that final assigned values okay so stay tuned for you know the upcoming video very important again as i have told you in the first video also uh, when we started off with the assignment problem sum that we will be solving multiple number of sums from this particular uh, topic so it will be great if you watch all those videos because once you are once you will watch all the video i can guarantee you that each and every sum based on assignment will be easily solved by all okay chalo with that we will be ending this video here i hope everyone have understood this thank you